Okay, HAC reference sheets part two. Trigonometry. Trigonometry is belongs to the advanced course, so I'm going to highlight in red. So the first thing is the definition of sine a, cos a, and tan a. So then what is the opposite hypotenuse adjacent? I'm going to just do a triangle here. Just right angle triangle has to be. And the A is here, then the opposite is this side, adjacent is this side, and hypotenuse is this side. So that's for the first half. Second one, area of triangles and the sine rule and the cosine rule. So what is the lowercase a, b, c, and what's the corresponding capital case a, b, c? I'm going to draw a triangle for you. So you can just using the any triangles, not necessarily right angle triangle, any triangles, A, B, C. And opposite to A is lowercase a, lowercase b, and the lowercase c. And you can use this triangle to find the um, area of triangles and the sine rule and the cosine rule. And then on the side, the two triangles that you draw here is for exact value for uh, trigonometry ratio for 45 degrees, 30 degrees, 60 degrees. But, and also more useful if uh, the angle is in radians. So I'm going to put them in radians and uh, as well the degrees. So 45 is pound four here, or this is pound four. And the 30 degrees is pi on 6, and the 60 degree is pi on 3. So you can use in that to also find exact value if the angle in radians. Okay, and the next part is the arc length and the area of sector again. So this time, um, the arc length and the area of sector is when the angle is in radians so arc lens radius and the theta here and i'm going to write the theta in radians don't confuse it with the first page first for me that time theta is in degrees okay we move on next section is trigonometric identity so this is also belongs to advanced course i'm going to hide in red this part here so the first three, first two are the are reciprocal functions, sec and the cosec. And also the reciprocal of cot is missing here. I'm going to write down. So the cot A is also equals to 1 over 10 A. So that's another reciprocal of 10 cot relations. And uh, the other one is the relation between the cot, cos, and the sine. But also, we also have the corresponding one is a 10. is equals to sine over cos. Last one is the cos squared plus sine squared equal to 1. Uh, if we divide by sine squared x everywhere in this sentence, I'll write it here, divided by sine squared x, then we will have cot square a plus 1 equals to 1 over sine square is cosec square. This is also very useful. And if I divide by cos square everywhere in this sentence, then I will have 1 plus 10 square a equals to sec square x. X, not A, yeah, all right. Okay, next one is compound angle. The compound angle is belongs to extension one course. So I'm going to highlight in yellow compound angles. So they have sine A plus B, cos A plus B, tan A plus B. And very importantly, what is the minus? So I'm going to just write a minus underneath there. So if it's sine A minus B, oops, Then there will be sine A cos B minus 
cos a sine b. And if it's cos a minus b here, then there would be plus here. And if 10 minus here, so it will be minus here and the plus here. So then we make up the compound angle when the difference. And then another case is when the a and b are equal, which gives us a double angle formulas. So if a equals to b, so we have sine 2a is equals to 2 sine a cos a. And if a equals to b in the cos, so we get a cos 2a is equals to cos square a minus sine square a. And also we know we have another form, which is 2 cos square a minus 1. Or last form is 1 minus 2 sine square a. So this is the three different forms for cos 2a. And the last one, 10 double angles, if a equals to b, so we have 10 to a is equals to 2 10 a over 1 minus 10 square a. All right, so we make up the double angle in here. And the next formula is the t formulas. So t formula is also a double angle. If you have um, replaced the t by 10 a on 2, you can see the left hand side is a and the right hand side is a on 2. So these are also called the double angle formulas, but it just all answers in terms of 10 ratios. Um, in here, I'm going to write one more formula, which is the auxiliary angle formulas. It's very useful here. I'm going to write this down here, auxiliary angle formulas. Um, is changing the sine of cos also into just sine or just cos. So it's very handy. So if you have a sine x plus b cosine x, so that will be equal to r sine x plus alpha. And if it's minus, there will be minus here. And if you're starting with cos, and a sign, then we write that R is cos x minus alpha here for cos. And if it's minus, then there will be plus here. So in this formula here, the R is always equal to square root of A squared plus B squared. The I is always positive. And then the alpha here, so the alpha here, we have the 10 alpha is equals to b on a. And also alpha in here is less than pi on 2, bigger than 0, acute angles. So it's very handy to use if you have any question in the form of a sine x plus b cos x. And then we can change either just sine or just cos. So it's easy for you to find the max and minimum values or sketching the curves or even solving trigger equations. So these extra formulas are put in here. So next part of the formula is called a product to sum. But lots of time we also need to use the formula backwards. We change the sum to the product or difference to the product. So we just need to flip the formula in the backwards, replace the a minus b as s and a plus b as t. So we can have uh, the formula called the sum or difference to the product. So I'm going to write this down. So um, for example, the first one. So if I have cos s plus cos t. Then I will have, I move the 2 on the other side, 2 cos s plus t on 2, and also cos s minus t on 2. So it's very easy going backwards like that. And the second one, if I have cos s minus cos t, so then I will have 
a negative 2 psi s plus t on 2 and psi s minus t on 2. And similar for the next one, if I have psi s plus psi t. So that would be equal to 2 psi of s plus t on 2 cos s plus t on 2. Last one for psi s minus psi t. So that would be equal to 2 cos s plus t on 2 psi s minus t on 2. So this is another set of formula going backwards. Okay. Last one. Last one, that formula is also very useful, especially very useful when n equals to 1. So I'm just going to write this useful formula here when n equals to 1. Um, so it would be sine square x equals to half of 1 minus cos 2x. Or cos square x equals to 1 plus cos 2x over 2. All right, so this is the part of the trigonometry, which is in the extension one course. Now let's move on. Next one is the uh, statistics. This is part of the advanced course. So I'm going to write it in red. So set the score and the outliers and the normal distribution. So with the normal distributions, um, we have the let's in red. We have the uh, median here in the middle, and the mean also in the middle, and the mode is also in the middle. So it's very symmetrical, left and the right. But if it's the normal not normal distribution and uh, we call it positive skewed or negative skewed. So how does this look like and how does the relation between the mean, median and the mode? Let's have a look. So I'm going to draw the first one it's called a positive skewed. Um, so writing this positive skewed. So this is positive skewed. So then the this is the mode always highest one and the median is here and the mean is here that's positive skirt and the negative skirt it will be look like this So that's the negative skewed. Right here, negative. And the highest one is still mode. And then this time your median here. And mean would be here. Right, with these normal distributions, we have 68%, 95%, and 99.7%, as you can see underneath the description there. So I'm going to give you more detail about these 68, 95, and 99.7%. Okay, first thing I'm going to show you um, if it's within here and there. So each half is actually is... 34%. So this is 34%. This is also 34%. And the second one, the second one I'm going to use in maybe red, this part here and this part here. What percentage of each part here? Uh, it is, this is 13.5%. So it's very handy. You can use in these figures. 
Okay, and the next one, I'm going to using different color again. I'm using the blue here, maybe here. So what percentage in this blue here? So this is going to be the blue here. Okay, this is going to be 2.35%. 2.35% and the last one green here and the green here so very little here green so percentage here will be very small 0 0.15% and the 0.15% okay let's move on next one is Expect values and the variance. That's just the formulas. It's very easy to use. And the probability, the probability pi is also belongs to the advanced. I'm going to highlight it in red. Uh, probabilities. The normal distribution is also advanced cost here. They're all in red. So the first formula is the probability of A and B is equal to probability of A times probability of B. But I'm going to make a note here very importantly to able to use in this formula, the event A and the event B has to be independent to each other. Very important, okay. Uh, and then the last formula, probability a slash b this is called a conditional probability so when you read the questions you have to know which one is conditions and which one is a probability you're going to find so the b has to be the conditions then you can use that formula to find the condition probabilities but condition probability also have another formula okay i'll give you another formula here so probability of A under condition B, sometimes you don't know, need, need to know the probability of A and B. You can just find the uh, number of A and B and over the sample, which is the condition B, the number of B, how many of B and how many A and B. And then you can find the condition of probability. So that's just another formula. Next one, continuous random variable. This is also belongs to advanced course, so it's also in red. And in this section here, I think most of students are confusing about PDF and CDF. So what's PDF? PDF is the functions you go into integration. Probability density functions is this one. That's PDF. And what's CDF? CDF is a result after you CDF. After your integrations. So CDF is actually this from A to X, FT, DT, and X is between A and B. Yeah, that's CDF. It's the result after integration. Cumulative and the PDF is before you integration, which is the probability density functions. All right, so PDF CDF is in here. Binomial distribution, this section is actually belongs to extension one course, so I highlight in yellow. So they have the formula for um, binomial probability formulas, and they also have binomial distributions. Okay, and what I'm going to put in here as extra notes is sometimes um, they ask you for sample proportion. I think a sample proportion is very, very important. Uh, over the past two years, HAC papers, a lot of chart papers, all have questions in sample proportions. So I'm going to write down sample proportion. Proportion. We call it P hat. So what is expect value of sample proportion p hat is just equal to p. It's a very handy formula here. And also variance of sample proportions is equals to um, p times 1 minus p over n. 
So this is the two formula for sample proportion.